Hey, Tori here with ToriToth.com, the place to be to create a home buyers will find irresistible. Whether you're selling your home or getting ready for guests or entertaining the next holiday bash, you can always create a warm and welcoming feel when you add a centerpiece on your dining room table. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is your table's size. And really, dining room tables come in all different sizes and even shapes, from circle to rectangular, even oval. And what you wanna do is make sure the centerpiece is in proportionate to the size of your table. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So this is what I'm talking about. Adding something small as this piece of pumpkin in the middle of your table, it really doesn't look very well. And if you just put this on your table instead, at least it's proportionate, it's got some height to it, and um, it looks a little bit better on the table. So now that you know the size of the table, the next thing you're going to want to do is put the first layer on your table. Now, if you have glass, you might want to just leave that there or wood too. But a lot of times people like to put tablecloths on their tables or even runners. So the decision is up to you, but you definitely need to have a first layer on your table so it makes a good base for the rest of the centerpiece. Now I do sometimes add a runner to the table. Um, and if you have a rectangular table, I think it's definitely a great option because tablecloths can uh, look a bit, a little bit old fashioned uh, in some homes. So definitely use a table runner if that's an option. Or what I like to do is use a nice flat uh, basket or tray. Uh, this is a great piece too. It's petrified wood and if it was a little bit bigger, I would just use this as a slab in the middle of the table. So for me, like I said, I'm going to use the tablecloth. I'm going to use this flat tray and I'm also going to put this little piece of petrified wood in the tray to just give it a little bit of texture and a little bit more height. And while we're on the subject of heights, you definitely want to make sure that you have different types of heights in your centerpieces, unless you're using all of the same thing, going for a symmetrical, clean, simple lined look. Then in that case, you just use the same height throughout the whole entire centerpiece. Another good tip here is that you don't want your centerpieces to be one-sided, meaning that um, just one person on the table sees the best part of your centerpiece. You want to make sure that everyone who's sitting around your table gets to see a little bit of the same thing. And you, know, you also want to make sure that you're using materials that aren't going to block the conversation. It's also important to try and repeat colors in your centerpieces, as well as patterns and even materials. Um, so we're using the red berries in some of the flower pieces, and then the flowers too also match the pumpkins. The last piece of putting together a tablescape is getting creative. Yes, while you can just use flowers to showcase the table, try and use other elements from nature, including branches, grasses, or plants. Here are some other ideas that I wanted to share with you. Um, one of the first things I love doing is using unique vases or vases, whatever you guys want to call them, but using unique pieces, um, whether it's something like this or maybe a teapot. Um, you could use something that has some color in it to bring some color to your dining room table. Or uh, I do like to use pictures a lot of the times because it makes it makes it a little bit more unique. So I, I do like this piece, and of course tulips are great to use in the spring. Another thing that I like to display on centerpieces are nuts that have shells on, that have their shells still on, and it just brings some texture, you know, it's something that someone could actually eat if they wanted to. Um, so that's always cool when your centerpiece is 
actually become food for your guests. You can also make your own centerpieces with beans and things like that. So all you do is just buy dried beans. You can even mix up the colors so they look a little bit more festive. You know, and then you can add a flower on top or even a candle. I sometimes like to use rope or ribbon too around um, the vase. Where is it? Why would it open? Around the vase. So it just brings it to life a little bit more. So let me just show you. You know, it gives it a nice little feel. You know, something like that. Looks pretty cool, right? Of course, you could use candlesticks and I actually like to use a lot of candlesticks at varying heights. It really is a simple way to add some drama to your table. Another great idea, like I mentioned, are these clementines. They're really small and they fit into vases really well. Um, and then you can also add flowers to them. So it brings some color. Um, and I'd also probably keep them short. You could do some that are taller, but it's a nice little unique piece. You could also put one rose or one flower in varying heights of uh, vases or even bottles. So this is a great idea and actually group these things together so it creates one big centerpiece. Now besides using food or um, natural items, even flowers, what I like to do is bring in decorative pieces that match the theme that I'm going for or the season. So this is something, an example of something that I would put on my dining room table along with uh, flowers or maybe candles. Here's another one, a glass pumpkin. Um, you really don't want to go any smaller than a softball that anything that you're putting on your table You really don't want it to be smaller than a softball because you want people to really notice it What's your favorite go-to item when using a centerpiece have a centerpiece tip you'd like to share? Please comment below and if you like this video make sure to go subscribe to our channel new videos are posted every Monday now for more home staging tips to get you one step closer to the closing table, please visit our website at www.torytoth.com and make sure to go sign up for our free video series to start staging your own home today. Until next time, happy selling. Mm -hmm.